we know that a trapezium is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. If a trapezium can be inscribed inside a circle, what we have is a cyclic trapezium. This means that the four vertices of this trapezium will lie on a common circle. This circle can be called as the circumcircle and its center becomes the circumcenter. Also, you can consider each of the sides of this trapezium as chords of the circumcircle. With this understanding, let's learn some properties of a cyclic trapezium. First, the opposite angles are supplementary, which means we have two pairs of angles which add up to 180 degrees. The next property is the two non-parallel sides are of equal length. The following property is the diagonals are also equal. Finally, we have an isosceles trapezium is always cyclic. Now, let's dive into each of these properties and prove them. First, opposite angles are supplementary. Here, A, B, C, D is our cyclic trapezium. We need to prove that angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees and angle B plus angle D is also 180 degrees. To prove this, we'll first mark the circumcenter. Let's join the circumcenter with two opposite vertices B and D. Now let's say angle C is X and angle A is Y. If you note carefully, this is an arc which subtends angle X at point C on the circumference. The same arc subtends this angle at the center. We know that the angle subtended by an arc at the center of the circle is double the angle subtended by the same arc at any point on the circumference. This means that the angle here becomes 2x. Using the same concept, considering this arc, it subtends at point A on the circumference an angle Y. So the same arc will subtend an angle 2Y at the center. Next, if you add 2x plus 2y, we have 360 degrees. Dividing this entire equation by 2, we have x plus y is 180 degrees or angle A plus angle C is 180 degrees. In a similar manner, you can also prove that angle B plus angle D is also 180 degrees. Now let's move on to the next two properties. The non-parallel sides and the diagonals are equal. We can easily prove these two properties together. A, B, C, D is our cyclic trapezium. The diagonals are AC and BD. 
So here we need to prove that the non-parallel sides AB is equal to CD and the diagonals AC is equal to BD. To do that, let's consider the triangles ABC and DCB. Now we'll focus on this segment. We know that all angles in the same segment are equal. So angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. Also, considering this segment, we have angle BAC is equal to angle BDC. Also, the side AD is common to both the triangles. So, according to ASA congruence property, these two triangles are congruent to each other. So, the corresponding sides AB is equal to CD and AC is also equal to BD. This shows that the non-parallel sides are equal and this equation shows that the diagonals are equal. With that, we move on to the final property. An isosceles trapezium is always cyclic. We know that any cyclic quadrilateral should have opposite angles to be supplementary. So to prove that this trapezium is cyclic, we need to prove that the opposite angles are supplementary, which is angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Now, we know that in an isosceles trapezium, the non-parallel sides are equal. Also, the base angles are equal, which means angle B is equal to angle C. Next, we know that AD and BC are parallel lines. So, angle A and angle B become the co-interior angles which are supplementary. So, angle A plus angle B is 180 degrees. Now, using this equation here, we can say that angle A plus angle C is 180 degrees. And that means the isosceles trapezium is always cyclic. Hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.